Today we begin walking daily through the Word, through the book of Daniel. Daniel is the 27th book of the Bible and the final book of what we call the major prophets. Today I want to focus our time on chapter 1 and six things we can glean from Daniel's life to make us more successful in following after Jesus. First, Daniel made up his mind, or purposed in his heart, not to defile himself by eating food and wine provided by the king. Daniel took a strong stand against compromising his culture. Second, Daniel was a man of the word. He knew the Hebrew dietary restrictions written in the law, and he submitted to them. Number three, Daniel was a man of fellowship. He could have surrounded himself with any of the men going through the king's training, but he was frequently found with his friends that were like-minded in their devotion to God. So Daniel purposed in his heart, was a man of the word, was a man of fellowship, and fourth, he was a man of faith. When faced with compromise, Daniel stepped out in faith and he proposed an alternative dietary plan. Number five, Daniel was a man of commitment. Verse 21 says that Daniel remained there until the first year of King Cyrus's reign. That would have included the reigns of five Babylonian kings over a span of 80 plus years. And sixth, Daniel was a man of prayer. When Daniel faced challenges from the culture in which he lived, he asked the Lord for help and trusted him to provide all that Daniel needed. So how can we be more successful in following Jesus? Do what Daniel did. Purpose in your heart not to defile yourself with today's cultural norms. Be a man or woman of the Word of God. Continue with us daily as we walk in the Word together. And place yourself in the fellowship of believers. Surround yourself with godly friends to encourage you and support you in your faith walk. Be a man or woman of faith. Step out in faith and experience God's provision and protection in your life. Be a person that's committed to the Lord. Endure in your sanctification by and service to the Lord. And last, develop a lifestyle of prayer. Have a conversation with the Lord every day and listen for His voice as you walk out His plans for your life. In short, do what Daniel did.